A Davis woman says she lives in fear every single day and she's not alone. She says trees that surround her home and her neighbors are ready to crack and fall and some have already caused a lot of damage. New tonight, CBS 13's Anjali Hempel is in Davis with why they say their complaints have fallen on deaf ears. Vivian Breckheisen says she's complained for years and nothing has been done to remove the several trees near her home she says can fall at any moment. We're stuck living under this impending doom. Vivian Breckheisen claims large tree branches fall in her neighborhood and put people in danger. Right above our mailboxes over here is the most dangerous tree. If it comes down, it could take out my house. Breckheisen lives at this mobile home park off Olive Drive, where she says many of the trees are old and in bad condition. You see how it's bored out. And she says over the years, branches have come crashing down onto people's homes, cars, or pathways near common areas. All of these trees, you see the holes? They're infested with this beetle that eats out the center core. There was a, a storm and a tree limb fell on the back of my car. Crushed the whole backside, you know, took out the window, and crushed the frame of the car. Before David Benson moved here, he lived on the owner's other property just down the street, where he says a large branch fell and destroyed his car. There's been a trend around here of tree limbs falling and people getting their property damaged. The property manager tells CBS 13 they do have constant tree maintenance on both their properties and have removed several trees that were unsafe. They also say they use chains to reinforce some of the older trees. But Breckheisen says that's not enough and fears the next looming storm could leave them at risk. It was cracking in the wind. You could hear it cracking. A former resident also tells CBS 13 he's in the middle of litigation with the property owner and his insurance company regarding a tree branch that fell and damaged his trailer. And the city told Anjali they are not responsible for the trees because they are on private, uh, private property. The city arborist recommends if you're in the same situation to send a certified letter to your insurance company to settle the matter in civil court.